It's Friday. Let's play some Skyrim. It's also kind of chilly. So I'm like bundled up. <laughs> I can't complain. Some places have already had snow. So, uh, you know, there's that. Yay, sh sound check. Sound check. Anyway, hi. Uh, so some Skyrim. I've got some hops tea because it just felt appropriate for fall. I swear I do know how to drink a beverage. I'm just like, <laughs> the like mouth hole was like in the wrong place. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So, um, I did wander around, um, because I, okay. So I, I bought the update, <laughs> um, and I was trying to figure out all of this and the that's, and I'm still not really sure what's new and what's not and whatever, but, um, yeah, this still freaks me out that just randomly there's a door here. So that's a large fish tank. Are they are all large fish tanks? These guys look small. Is it like this? <gasps> Look at him! We got a little fish. He's a little little two dimensional looking, but I'm not gonna be picky. Okay. So the brick ones are large. These are small, so we can just like randomly just shove some fish in there. We should see if we have any more <laughs> fish and like our ingredients. Uh, yeah. And I believe last week uh, there was a request to move on to the Thieves Guild. So I believe that's what we'll be doing today. I believe we have crimes to commit. Is that what we already put in there? I think so. No, it was like a silver purge. Oh. <gasps> No, I just grabbed literally everything. Okay, fine. So anyway, hope everyone... <laughs> yeah, I think it's so cool. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, yeah, okay. So that guy can go in there. Barnacles. Oh, we got a river betty. We already have a silver side perch. And I don't think I want to put slaughter fish anywhere. Mm, okay, well. Okay, we have some fishies. I like it. So apparently there's like tons of fish. I don't know how much fishing we're going to do on the stream. Um, I'm not sure how thrilling that would be to watch, but you've watched me do some pretty inane things anyway. I just randomly have some dude dashes. I kind of want to see if I can put a barnacle somewhere, but anyway. video games. Uh, way to outlive your hoarding needs, desires. Yes. Gosh, there's so much stuff. I like how there's a take all, but there's not like a return all. <laughs> I would like all of these things in a box. So, I don't know about next week's stream. Um, the reason I say that is because we're trying to get together with some family. Oh, guys, what am I going to do with a follower? 
Um, should I go back and get Serana? Do we just want to pick up some rando from a bar? Like, hey, here's 500 gold, be my friend. Um, what do you guys think? Make my way to Riften and you guys tell me. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to, like, do family stuff next week. Um, so... Yeah. Not... Okay, not Serana. Okay, perfect. Well, you know, um, actually, since it's still nighttime, we can actually... I th Some being mugged. Who were we helping? Ah, uh, yes. I believe this is uh, the sense of foreboding we're supposed to have. Don't be a thief. Yeah, dude. Don't don't steal stuff. As I loot your body. Okay. So let's go to White Run. I think in the Drunken Huntsman, there is another archer, which might be a pretty good fit, even though, like, it's probably smarter to, like, mix and match your playstyle with, like, a different playstyle. Match. Offset? Offset. Um. But yeah. Hi! I've had Janessa before. Blade and shadow, silence, silence and death. death. Oh, she's These moody. I like that. Hey, you wanna you want five hundred gold? Here's five hundred gold. I figure if we're doing the thieves guild, maybe somebody who's also kind of sneakums is the way to go. Also, I keep forgetting that we just look cool as heck. Why are we so cool? I don't know. Also, check it out. We got some, uh, we have, uh, some very, very striking Dunmiri, uh, ladies here. Just, you know, rambling. I like it. It's a, it's a good fit. Um, yeah, so I've had Janessa before. She's a good shot. So, uh, all right. And while we're here, let's go ahead and do this. So where are we severely lacking? Um... Magicka. Not severely lacking, but like, probably should. Uh, we've done zero with enchanting, so that's, that's smart on my part. Um, what do we just, what do we have up here? Okay, so we're, we're kind of where we're, we can be for right now there. Um, can we get cooler? Okay, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty sick. The steady hand is really nice. Okay, um, okay, yeah, that's cool. Oops. That's pretty spice. Um, let's do this. So we, we're doing custom fit. Uh, let's see, stamina regens. That's fine. I'm more of a mix and match kind of gal. And then. Oh, that's pretty cool. Shadow Warrior. Crouching stops combat for a moment and forces distant opponents to search for a target. That's not bad. We haven't really done anything with speech. Probably should. 
All right. Valari doesn't really strike me as a very chatty person. Uh, we'll have to get Janessa, like, cooler armor, though. You know, if we're gonna be hanging out. That's right, we have a- I was like, oh, we'll have to get a room at the inn. No, we don't. We've got a house here. I forgot about our cute little house. It's the best. There's an apothecary in town yet, but it's down on the lower walkway. So stay short if you go down there. Okay, thank you, r random Riften guard. Can we hi say hi to the chickens? Check them! Look at them! I don't know. They're just cute. Hmm. Alright. Let's have a snooze. And then we'll go rough up some... Some Riftonians. Honored to see you again, my fame. What's up, Iona? Isn't Iona the name of um the record shop owner in Pretty in Pink? Excuse me, I did not mean to yawn. Uh, what? Hi. Yeah, let's not, let's not ask too many questions about... Spawn, has that scuba adult idiot Naluba paid her rent yet, or does she have more excuses? She said she'll have it soon. She still has her job at the meadery for now, so she'll be able to pay us. Why do you insist on defending that woman? All she does with her money is spend it on that dark elf garbage. Just be patient, Ed. She'll have it, I promise. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Bar. This place is for the working man. Uh, so I have a message. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Uh, this isn't about money anymore. I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. I'm friend of the patients. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Hmm... Oh. Ask all you want. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not in this part of the world, anyway. Isn't there like... Balmer blood elixir? That sounds questionable. Money on the floor. Okay, dude, what's your deal? Why does her statue of Debella look better than all the others? Or maybe it's the update. I don't know. Isn't there like a non-violent way to like resolve all of these? Oh my gosh, is that thief still running around like a nut? He is. Yeah, 
Who? This room is crusty. Ask all you want. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not in this part of the world. I'll come back to that because I, I think there is a non-violent way of solving this. I know like um, over here at the pawn prawn you just have to knock over his face. So can I interest you in anything today? No, I'm the one with the interesting what? stuff. Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Or, I think you know what it is. You're gouging me for what little coin I make, and you can't even protect yourselves? Ridiculous. We can protect ourselves. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Oh. That was dumb. Sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf you'll just have to make do without my coin. Help! If I have it, I'll pay. There's no need to do that. Just pay them, Bersin. No! That urn was priceless. Do you want me to break anything else? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold and leave me in peace. Rifa, I was looking through our books and there's an entry. What the? Wait, 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 wait. So that's the B and Barb. I don't- I can't imagine that it's like the same thing, like you just break something. You might want to talk some sense into Kareva. The rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing. She's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. So help me convince her. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Even Blackbriar. 
so rent is going up too. That stinks. Because maybe Blackbriar is behind both of them. Here for a root? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about it? Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Pay up and I'll forget well. about it. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. All right. My skill and so I'm guessing that I was right about the statue. Question is, am I going to compete for doing That's all you need, Dragonborn? Just um, say the word. with someone else for the statue? She's got this thief running around. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. Alright, what about my message? I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Alright. It was a much prettier statue of Dabella than all the others. Alright, well, we did that without punching anyone, so everyone should be happy. Where did Janessa go? I probably don't want to know. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. All meats guaranteed clean and free from Meat free of rock joint. Is that like our meat does not have mad cow disease? <laughs> like Oh, there she is. Yeah, you guys are bad at cleaning up after yourselves. Like, really bad. Ooh, is that money? I like money. Not that we need, like, more of it, but okay. There's like ores on the floor. Like, what is it with this place? It's gross. I know we have to be really careful about like saving before some of the like radiant quests uh, because they can be really glitchy. There was one in uh, so Marker that was super done and you even glitchy. The gold. First of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Uh, well, here's what, what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. All right. What's up next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Uh, well, I like gold, so tell me what's up. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before I go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? The word is, your outfit isn't doing well. We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Sure. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Yeah, taking care of business.
I like how I've done one job for him. Then you can ask your questions. Um, I've done like kind of one and a half jobs for Brynjolf, and he's like, "Yeah, let me show you our secret lair." <laughs> Sorry about the extra yawns tonight, guys. I've been uh, kind of burning the candle at both ends. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. He's got a cute little Do butterfly clip on his clear? belt. Sure. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a minute. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. Claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brignol will provide you with details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Easiest thing I've done all day. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. All right, so where's my cut? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. You can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia and the Flagger. She'll set you up with your new armor. So tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arendoth. Of course it is. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. I did that once. I like wanted to see and I burnt all the hives and it was not good. All right. So Hi. the last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. So what about Aaron Goth? Maven prefers that Aaron Goth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, literally kill him. Just a lot right says so maven like right up front up. like i thought the whole point was to you know be discreet so more details about gold golden, golden glow estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild you could almost call it our sweetest deal boo and out of the clear blue arangoth stopped sending us our cut mercer was well angry to put it kindly so we send him vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place Mercenaries, not rifting guards. Hi, Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Sweet. How do I destroy the hives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Uh, why not level the whole thing? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. So, Maven, huh? We had an arrangement with Maven. 
We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So, don't cross me then. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Alright, well, let's not do that. Just checking on our connection. Alright, sounds good. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Yeah, I don't either though. I said I didn't I couldn't flatten the place. It didn't say that I couldn't like you know do away with all the mercenaries. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of the guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. <laughs> two, Dead wrong. You follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Um, I heard you had trouble at Golden Glow. Huh. Yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. It's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Mm, all right. You think you're finished? I've got plenty more where that came from. Okay. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Ah, uh, the face sculptor. Yes, I once practiced my art in the salons and manners of Tamriel's great and good. Now the scum of Skyrim are my only clients. But no matter, the greatest artists are never recognized in their own time. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? I think this is an achievement. Uh, sure. Hmm. Very well. Just tell me what you desire. Beauty or hideous deformity. Nothing is beyond my skill. Okay, I was looking at you. There we go. Don't really see the point. All right, and then Delvin. All eyes are on you. Greet your fight, Dolphus. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Yep. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. On the other hand. Taking some of these extra jobs off my hands. Now, that'll get you to the top of my list. I, I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive. Is he even sitting on that chair? We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, 
This place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a big dog for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. And so what do we do about curses? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we could both come out of this smelling like a rose. Uh, know anything about Golden Glow? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. Alright. There's plenty more work. Yeah, he's here. like just sitting on the most awkward little corner there. Okay, and then uh, uh, Tanilla. Don't disappoint us. Where is Tanilla? Well, oh, there she is. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. What is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Alright. Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Wow. Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. So what will you give me for these? Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. She's got a big old stock of lockpicks. keep acting like I'm going to use these. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, excuse yourself, woman. Jeez. Okay, so I think it wants us to go this way so we can find the, like, hidden entrance. And that's, that's not it. <laughs> I'm like, ah, first day in the job. No idea where I'm going, but I'm gonna act like I do anyway. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. That's very nice. You have an unusual name. My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. Do you know what they mean? No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Maybe you aren't a meant to know. Perhaps. They could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. So who gave you the name? Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I'll keep out. I'll keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Keep to the shadows. Oh, where did you say he got? Or do you just want? 
My father told me he found uh, solitude. Okay. Maybe we could check out some wrecks over there. Something I can help with, or do you just want to talk? All right. Well, let's just take a look. But I think the armor we're wearing is, um, was I not wearing this? Apparently not. Yeah, what we're wearing is better. Alright, well, let's not lug around a whole other set of armor. Let's drop it off. And, um, yeah. Just, just let that lay. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. Honor to you, my fame. All right, well, let's uh, go for a walk and see about. Actually, we could probably go out of the house through the balcony. I don't know why, but Vex talking about like, oh yeah, fishing supplies, just random salmon. Um, something about Vex talking about like the sewer. Oh, no. no, chicken, chicken. Something about Vex talking about the sewer dumping into the lake. Like, it's less gross to me that one time we, uh, you know, crawl into, um, the, uh, the sewer to gain access to this house. That's not so bad. But something about, like, just knowing that the sewer just dumps into the lake is super gross. <laughs> I don't know if approaching this place by day was like the smartest thing I've ever done. anything here. Back up, back up. I like how ultimately is it it's the rats that actually set that off. Thank you for the random torch. 
but we've got magic. We have a book. A better guide to thieving. I'll take that. That's amazing. I have to say, it took me a couple playthroughs to really like stop and appreciate um, the titles of some of these books. Actually, let's just um, let's just take a look at this book for a second. Wolf Mares, it's not just a guide, it's Wolf Mares Guide to Better Thieving by Guide to Better Thieving by Wolf Mare Shadow Cloak. So you want to make it as a cat purse, cut purse. You want to live the life of a criminal, always one step ahead of everyone and pockets brimming with septums. Maybe it appeals to you to try and earn a living by robbing some wealthy merchants or extorting your local shopkeepers. Let me give you a bit of advice. Don't bother. For every skilled thief I've met in my day, I've seen a 20 who thought that they had what it took, but ended up rotting in jail. But if you're anything like me, you don't listen to advice. You do whatever you want and never let anyone tell you otherwise. To oblivion with the risks, all that matters is the coin sound familiar. If it does, then this book might just teach you the difference between acting like a petty thief and a master criminal. I know what you're thinking. Who's this Wolfmere? Who does he think he is telling me how to be a better thief? What makes him an expert? Simple. Maybe you heard about the heist in Mournhold when the Queen Baron Zaya's coronation crown went missing. Or perhaps the tale of an Elder Scroll gone missing from the White Gold Tower reached your ears. That's right. It was yours truly. I've done just about every kind of job you can imagine. I've got the septums put away to prove it. How else could an ex-thief find the resources to publish his own book? Now that I have your attention, let's start with two of the most fundamental skills you'll need to sharpen if you want to make it as a cut purse. Picking locks and picking pockets. And before you roll your eyes and throw this book aside in disgust, I can promise you that the easiest way you're going to get caught is by ignoring the basics. But if you can master these activities, you'll find yourself swimming in coin. Pick pockets, picking pockets is one of the easiest skills to learn. But you'd be surprised how often I've seen novice thieves muck it up. The lesson here is twofold. First, know your surroundings, and second, know your approach. Where and when you decide to go fishing is just as important as who you chose as your mark. Follow them a while. There's never a need to rush. Wait until they're somewhere isolated and out of earshot of any guards, but most importantly, always know when to let the mark go. Getting pinched simply isn't worth the risk. There'll always be plenty of other marks who will come along with their pockets full. As far as the approach goes, don't drop into your crouch until you're completely out of the mark's view, directly behind and preferably close to them. Don't spend too long deciding which you'll lift either. A good thief should be able to hit a mark and make off of something valuable in less than five seconds. Last of all, applying this trade at night will greatly reduce your chances of getting caught. If you have no other choice and you have to do it in the daylight, just make sure you aren't out in the open. Lock picking is an art form that takes years to master. The important thing to remember is that no two, lock, no two are alike, each one behaving completely different. As long as you keep your wits about you and your patient and your patience, you'll find them easier to defeat than you'll, you'd initially expect. Good picks are always essential. Make sure you have plenty of them tucked away in your pockets. Always take your time and keep a light touch on the picks. When the tumblers begin to fall into place, you should feel the pick tremble ever so slightly. This means you're near the sweet spot. Slow down at that point and only move the picks with the finest touch. If you blindly poke at the lock like an old man, all you're going to end up with is a bunch of broken picks and equally broken pride. As a last resort, if the lock is completely confounding you, there's always the option of smashing it. 
Just keep it in just keep in mind that this is rarely successful and could potentially make a great deal of noise. By using my IT techniques, I'm not merely suggesting you'll be a successful thief. I'm giving you a solid guarantee. All it takes is a little bit of patience and a great deal of a little bit of patience and a great deal of practice. Then maybe, just maybe, you'll become as successful as Wolfmare. In my next volume, we'll move on to another important tool in your arsenal, sneaking. I'll prove to you that the shadows can be just as potent of a weapon as your blade if you know how to bend it to your will. I've never read that. That's really good. It's worth 60 gold. I can see why. Alright. I believe we have guards to kill. Or, in this case, just another skeever. Okay. There's a lot of bones. Was this was this the way out? It was the way out. I totally went around that cistern. Oh my god. That was that was silly. No, that was right. Are we in now? We are. No, that's not right. Because I think you can go up through the basement, right? No, kerfuffled. guys. So we really only went that far? Well, that's crazy. For some reason, I thought I remembered that you could go up through the basement. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's our exit. Hmm. Huh? 
Yeah, I think I think we have to go out and back in. I like that. There's just little alcoves back here. What am I thinking of then? I thought there was a way where you like go in through the basement and then kind of work your way up. Yeah, no, that's that's the sewer. Oh well. Let's uh, let's go set some stuff on fire. It's almost eight o'clock, so it should be getting dark enough. Especially considering we're wearing bright white armor. But it's so cool, right? So yeah, I think that's it. I think that we're meant to use that as an escape later. Oh, they're toughies. Alright, do any of these guys have anything worthwhile on them? Where does body go? Oh, that's alarming. I thought some of these guys had keys. I don't really want to be out in the open here. No keys. Okay, let's not do that quite yet. Is that someone? Yeah, I got someone. I wish it was darker. I'm just gonna let that happen.
Hi. Okay, well that took us down to three. Thanks, Dragon. Oh my god, she scared me. It must be too far away. Is he just sitting over there? Having mercenary thoughts? See Janessa. They are tough though. We saw how many arrows it took to take down a dragon versus these guys. What are they having for breakfast? One left. Okay, I think that's everyone outside now. That's what I wanted. There's almost always somebody with a key. I kind of jittered on the app, so I just wanted to make sure that we are okay. I think we're good. Now, what I think we can do is set these guys aflame and then see who comes out to save them. Only three though. Do not step into the fire. Okay. So that's two more. 
There've got to be other guards, right? On the inside? Yeah, there's another guy. Nice. Big old keg. Just want to make sure I've cleared everything. Come on, I read a book about this and everything. What am I doing? Gotta be a better thief. This place is huge. I guess that's why they call it an, est an estate. And not just like, that's a big house. You know, we got that key for... Oh, maybe that was just for the gate. Like, the actual gate. Like, oh man, we got the keys to this place. And we still have the lock pick. Half, half the locks. But I think... I think it's just with the outside gate. Alright. Now, where are the steps for upstairs? Basement. 
Oh, shoot. Well, I'm glad we have the cellar key now, although I don't know that we really need it anymore. This is just me walking around walking back. Uh, un picking logs. Amazing. It's a weird cubby, but okay. Not my business. Isn't there like a second floor to this place? There's gotta be, right? And there's oil on the floor. Don't run in there, Janessa. Now, now we have all these cellar keys. But we've already seen the cellar. I'm probably moving too fast. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's where we drop down. This document acknowledges the sale of Golden Glow Estate. Yeah, but I think there's still more to steal. It's probably the wrong attitude. <laughs> I should quit when I'm ahead, but like thieving is so fun. Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. I want there to be like a secret back here, like behind that hay bale. Probably just get up and walk around now. So that's the down. But where do we come? Where do we come down? Because we came down steps. We didn't go outside. Oh wait, it's through a door or not, I think. Yeah. Huh? Oh. There's still more mercenaries.
Is this the way to the second floor? Yeah. Nice. I'll just take everything. I'll dump the goblets later. I'm not gonna lie, um, because of the kind of maze-like construction of this house, it kind of makes me think of like laser tag, like these very intentional obstacles. There's just like money laying everywhere. No reason. Just Now, Aragoth is going to be behind one of these locked doors. I kind of just want to heckle him a little bit. I've worked for this organization for like 10 minutes. Um, what is that, an elven helmet? Yeah. And already I'm like, haha, we're so cool. And uh, yeah. I kind of want to, uh, I don't know, I just want to give Aragoth a hard time for no reason. Oh no, joining the Thieves Guild has made me a bully. Is that backpack? Yeah. That's a cute little area here. Seems pretty secure. Hi. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. I just want the key to the safe, which I don't I need. Can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. What makes you think I won't? Fine. Take it. Once the new owner finds out I gave in, I'm as good as dead anyway. New owner? I've already said too much. I gave you what you came in here for. Now go. Leave me in peace. Okay. But not before I loot your wardrobe. Go. Leave me in <gasps> oh, peace. Oh, it's one of the, the critters in a jar. I don't, I kind of want to look up where they all are and just like collect the set. I want to say it was Camel from Camel Works who did like a breakdown of what he found out about the bugs in jars. And uh, because there's so many like fan theories about what they are, why they exist. And uh, here, let me pull this out. It's um, B in a jar. If you look, there are runes on the inside. They mean literally nothing. It's amazing. Like a quest that was never finished. Um, 
I will, I'll, I'll link that uh, down below if I can find the video I'm talking about. I think it was Camel, but not 100% sure. Can I just go out the front door? So maybe like 11.30? Yeah. Alright. Um, can we get on this boat? I want to get on this boat. It's my boat now. There's literally no reason for that. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. When I got home from work, I had a toasty. But that was a while ago. Okay, I wanna see I wanna see if this oh, it's just salmon meat. Never mind. I was hoping I could just like stick a salmon. Like I want my fish tank, but I think I have to like properly catch them in the wild. Look at all those letters from the butcher. About the butcher. I don't know. It's a nice looking uh, pie you got there. Must paint her well. the wrong way. I could have gone like through the cemetery. I don't know. So it's my left foot and ankle are my bad side. But I don't know why I'm having like I don't know, sympathetic pains on my right side. Oh my gosh, my ankles just hurt this week. I don't know. I'm also like a couple weeks late getting my treatment for my left leg. And I actually have a couple more weeks to go. Um, but yeah, maybe that's why. Maybe I'm leaning too hard on one side. Them wobbles though. I brought you money. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lass. Yep, oh, and here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Last. I couldn't well, even take a guess. It I'll was like, it was like, myself. no, you're not gonna know. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Sure, but will I come out alive? If it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just business. 
What does she want from me? That's between you and Maven, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for a new home. Speaking of... <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplash. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Nice. Dampen spirits. Okay, let's give this a proper save. All right, I guess we'll just keep pushing forward. I do want to like check out the wrecks near um, Solitude, though. What's up, dude? Just, just patrolling. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hi. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Guess that's kind of the point. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand, it's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. You have no faith in the guild, huh? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. You won't have that problem with me. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidary that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Where do I begin? Go to the Bannered Mare in White Run and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Alright. Well, one in Rome. It's a tree. Tree. Oh. Oh, hi textures. You wanna, you wanna load in sometime today? Here, let's go into more maidens. That's not the first time I've had that happen, though. Let's see if we can get it to load. Nope. There. We are going to fast travel to Dragon's Reach and see if the graphics pick up with themselves. Uh, maybe? Hey guys. Damn those great names to oblivion. They want to back the storm close. Nothing. Nay, worse than nothing. When the Empire sees so the Almeric. Bignar. There's a root here. John Battleborn. Recognize that dirty ponytail anywhere. Hi. What are you doing looking all sad? Can't a man drink in peace? I'm here for Maeve. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. You have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? How do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabior a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Clever. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. 
Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Sure. Remember, Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. Oh man, this guy is jamming. Look at him. He's like, I don't need a beat. I'm just I'm just gonna make it up as I go. Just freeform it. Love it. I, I, I do enjoy it though. It's like this is us. We're looking fancy. Shiny. Battle worn. We're gonna warp and be like, hey, I'm here to fix your rat problem. Nothing suspicious there. Like this pile of ash. Not gonna ask. I'm just gonna keep on rolling. No worries. Uh, so far so good. No drop frames. Uh, things have definitely been better since I splurged and bought a 50 foot uh, network cable. So it's been a lot kinder on my GPU. So better frames for you guys, fewer headaches for me. be out hunting or something. Oh, calm down. I like the Khajiit too, but, you know, I gotta be respectful. Wait, 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 wait. Look at these speckly bits. It's like they've been to the Forgotten Vale as well. That's very cool. Oh, that patch is bloody. That's kind of gross. Oh, that's so cool. I was actually thinking about that. Like, it would be really nifty if you had used the pelts from the Forgotten Veil for um, your homes. And maybe you can, I just haven't tried, but it'd be very cool if you could have like the unique heads for... Not that I'm a big fan of taxidermy, but it would be cool. This was as stupid as I I agree, Ethelda. So, um, Nobody's uh, is coming to an end uh, this coming week, so I think I'm just going to um, play a little, little one-off for you guys um, before deciding on what the next series is going to be. I'm so bad at the puzzle in this game. I have to use the hint beeper pretty often, but um, it's so fun. And this, I think part of it is just like the stories are good, I like the kind of hand written, like the like uh, kind of graphic design. It kind of reminds me of Archer a little bit. So, hey, I hear you got rats. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. What can I do to help? Oh, really? And I don't suppose you just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Mm, that's the only way I operate. Oh, very well. Here's half. You'll get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. How, how do I permanently clear them? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. Yeah, if seems to have vanished, huh? Nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Come on, Janessa, let's close this door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I totally just didn't notice that. Let's be Snoopy. Looks 
like the face I broke. Well, I can tell you that these bear traps aren't doing much for you. Oh, that one worked at them. Actually, let's just, uh, let's be rowdy. Venom Fang Skeevers. What the heck? Have they always been Venom Fang Skeevers? Uh, what? I don't remember that. But it has been a while, and Thieves Guild isn't normally my, like, go-to. But I don't want to get poisoned again, so maybe sneaking is what we're going to do. I'm going to say that he might have bigger problems than just, like, skeevers, considering all this down here. I couldn't even see that. I was like, I see motion. Got it in the butt. Haha. <laughs> Like, dude, you have like a cave under your metery. Stuff's gonna breed down here. Oh, have they been breeding with spiders or something? I don't understand. Is that why they're they've got the Like I said, stuff will breed down here. Okay, so if they're venom fang rats, or skeevers, don't you think they would just have like natural immunity to venom? Also, like if you're gonna have hay down here, you're, you're gonna have problems. Did anybody know what was like going to happen down here? Did they know that all this was here? This is kind of rowdy. Did I forget, like, a huge part of this story? Oh my goodness. Please tell me you have a journal. Thank you. Ten years of ridicule. Apprentice alchemist. Okay. Man, I... I, I think I must not have known, or... I just forgot. just an alcove. I was like, wait, I'm too big. My stumpy butt has never been too big for much of anything. Be 
I guess now I'm starting to recall um, the alchemist, but hmm. so without looking at the journal, I'm wondering if it was. Oh, that scared me. It was like stuck there. Oh yeah, look at all them dead keepers. I'm going to have to go worship at the shrine when we're done here, because I'm sure this is not healthy. First things first. I guess my arrow is getting bigger. Oh, how did I, I missed this little door. So we go up and under to get in here. Do we have to go from the top down? And just like walk through the wrong door. Hey, how'd you get there? Ah, oh, did you know you had a spider problem in addition to a rat problem? Cheers. to go all the way back again? Probably. Don't like it. if you really need a bunch of invisibility potions, this is the place to come. I mean, there's other places. But those places usually have Palmer. The, uh, the betrayed. I'm going to, to be technical here. I 
There's a little big old pile of spiders. Mm. Saying that doesn't feel good. Wait to see Savjorn squirm. Was something we dis well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. Clean out your own rats. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Savjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem. How about I get a taste of some of your meat? All them honey nut treats. Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Honey Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. Why not both? By the eight. What? What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. Please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. Gross. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. What's going on? You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. You'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Samyorn. That could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? I need a look at his books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Oh, keys. So you never mentioned the lunatic living in the tunnels. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. So what are you going to do at this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly. I wonder what it's gonna take to like You're scrub clean that one you ever need boiler. Fenced, you just let me know. Oh, I didn't realize he was a fence. Remember to put in a good that's awesome. For me. Mm, okay, so it's upstairs. Now this place is confusing. Upstairs, downstairs, in the tunnels, I don't know. Oh. All up in my business, girl. Oh, hey. 
said Bjorn, this is my third and final offer. I feel that I've been more than generous with the amounts I've stated to buy your meadery. There is no reason for competition to stifle both our businesses. Unified, we can make Blackbriar Mead a household name and bury any one else who tries to start a similar business in Skyrim. If you wish to accept my offer, please come to Riften and stay at my manor as a guest. I think you'll find that being a part of the Blackbriar family would bo be both lucrative and life-saving. Nothing in the display case. Promissory note. So Bjorn, within within the enclosed crate you'll find the following payment. As we discussed, Henning Brew Meadery should now begin brewing meat at full production. In regards to your concerns about interference from Maven Blackbriar, I can assure you that I'll do everything in my power to keep our assets and our cronies at bay. This is the beginning of a long and successful future for both of us. lockpicks. Oh hey, that's one of the things I can, one of the special things I can steal. Nothing? Oh, it's rude. Okay. Oh, I'm hitting at treats. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I'm <laughs> I just assume that honey nut treats have the same texture as like Chico sticks. The like coconut peanut butter candies. I don't know. Like in my mind, that's what they have to taste like, and that and the texture too. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Yeah, no problem. I can't believe that worked. I mean, poison is generally a strong tactic. Uh, ask uh, Catherine de Medici. <laughs> Turn of the dragons is not mere coincidence. What? This Where is, is one this of the guy? Signs, the signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of kind. No, no, Mara. No. We talked about this. Talon? Kira, uh, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Mara. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Blessing, how may I help you, my daughter? Um, do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. 
We need all the help we can get. There you go. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. So I wanted to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Can you tell me about Mara's beliefs? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Can I have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Uh, yeah. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Can I buy an amulet? Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. Okay, I don't really, like, want all that, but I do need an amulet to finish off my, uh, shrine. Our is to smile at Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Oh, I know this one. Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. <laughs> I want you to talk to Sibby for me. It does not. And I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Sounds easy enough. Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Sibby just does not sound well like a name for, for a grown man. Why is Sibby in jail? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. Ooh, wee. Uh, why don't you tell Sibby yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Okay. I'll meet you outside of town. Okay, so is she upstairs? You have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. Uh, sure. Okay, so she must be upstairs then. Okay, jeez. Be careful. Yeah, I'm sorry, I bumped your apples. Hi. I trust you have good news for me. Job's done. Here's the information. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. I've seen it before. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Out of my way. Okay, I want to save and see um, what my choices are for this horse situation. I believe Brynjolf wishes to speak with you. Don't tell me. Sibby and Louis Latrush? Well, Sibby is in jail, and Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. Actually, he wants me to steal the horse. Really? Now that is interesting. Then you should know that Louis and I have a certain history. Tell you what, go along with his plans for now. 
I'll keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with Louis. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's just see how this plays out. I've never done this quest this way before. Visiting Riften? All you are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Hmm. It's fun finding new things or remembering old things. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. But I am official business. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Oh my goodness. So good. Like, look at this cell, and then like, look at this butt face. Seriously. Well, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? I've always got time for lovely things. I was here by, I was sent here by Latrush. Ah. Let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. Surprise! That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. You know, I bet Maven will pay me more. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge, and I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. All right. <laughs> we are being so rascally. No doubt about it. The thieves killed this back, and they've got rifted. Oh, I wonder why the Thieves Guild is suddenly back. Oh, uh, is it is it us? Our coolness? Yes. I'm gonna cut through the house. Hi. What do you need, my Bye. Friend? on this side. Well, that's a bit of a distance, but um, oh well. Wolfos. I don't think so. Oh, I need to pray somewhere. I'm sure I contracted something from those stupid skeevers. Actually, did I? Somehow, no. Oh, we got some drop frames here, guys. Sorry. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it had like... I don't know. Anyway.
Oh, hi troll. Bye troll. Just run through here without a care in the world. Do I even want to know? Oh. Sorry, Janessa. Okay, now I have a drop frame. Sorry guys, but I'm not really sure why. Connected to the internet. Battery's good. See if there's anything cool in here. I doubt it though. I think I remember I like approaching from the other side, but that's okay. For some reason, I thought there was a perk that allows you to, um, wow, he really just ran inside. I thought there was a perk that allowed you to shoot, like, further, but I could be wrong. Okay, what are these dainty shoes he's wearing, Mr. Mercenary Man? Jeez. Sorry guys, we've been doing so good this whole stream, and next thing you know, drop frames like crazy. And I'm hardwired in, so... I couldn't even tell you unless somebody is like streaming 12 things at the same time elsewhere in the house. It might just be my ISP. Surprise! I 
I believe that is Frost, looking strong and burly. I like how Je Janessa just like runs through. I don't know if upstairs or downstairs. There we go. Does anyone know if there's like an actual purpose to this like weird butt flap thing? These guys are paid a lot better than the guy who worked for um the the wood elf All right, deed of ownership and the strong box a lot. Hi. Alright, Frost. Oh, I think I remember doing this run and, like, having to fend off trolls, like, at one point. Not every time I've done this, but, like, it's definitely happened. Oh, hello, Mr. Elk. Not here to spook you. I do look pretty, uh, pretty dashing with my sweet armor on this, uh, beautiful white steed. I guess it's more of a cream color, but yeah. Okay, it seems like some of our problems have chilled out a bit. There are little ponds over here. to defend Hi I brought your horse huh, You've done it Got to win it I was cheap But you've definitely earned your pay Well, I'm going to Maven unless I leave here with Frost. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. Fine, you win. Take the horse and leave. That's awesome. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with a horse, but I have a horse. Oh, you see all this this stuff up here? 
Yeah. Something tells me Frost isn't going to live very long. Okay, maybe not. Well, that was interesting. Can I, like, send the frost home? Probably not. Well... Let's return to Brynjolf. Random. Now, I do believe that now that we have Frost, every time we fast travel to a city, he'll just be there. And, you know what? For good measure, even though... I didn't see any active effects. We'll just, you know, push the button. Of everybody wearing their cowls. Tell me so here, cool. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here, me included. Just wanted to let you know. Oh. Come find me if you need more marksman training. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Very fortunate for me, exactly. then. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Yeah, same symbol. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, that's his name. And now Sabjord. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Scoundrel's Folly. Isn't that a ship? Hi! Ah, there you I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. Uh, I found the same marking at Hunting Brew. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You admire them? They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. Crest have reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dear. Uh, how can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gaja lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. <sighs> His real name is Gullamai. Where do I begin? Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as we a wanted to go to Solitude to possibly anyway. Low estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Okay, and I think we're supposed to talk to, um, Belvin? Nope, that's the wrong way. Go look 
lots of jobs available. Need some gold. I may have some work for you. Interested in buying this? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. Nice. Where are you off to? There's work to be done. Oh, not the rat way. Not again. Ugh, too many bad memories. Get me out of here. Okay. So, when we bring him things, I do believe the collection starts to appear on the shelves over here. Yeah. Look how pretty. Hi. Supposed to talk to you. Trouble. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So how do I get him to talk? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Betrayal or not, I'll let him live. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we have the entire story. Just keep on Golemai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Now if I get the information from Golemai, what then? Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. Oh, we we're doing so well. I'm sorry about the frames, guys. I don't know. More loot stashed away than he claims. We'd find that information quite valuable as well. Okay. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golemai alive. Sapphire. What's on your mind? If you need marksman training and you've got the coin, I'm ready. Okay. So let's go to Solitude. And then we might just give a little peek around here. Um. And just see if we find any ships. <laughs> Froth. You, you weirdo. Oh my goodness. Wait, aren't there steps? That's my horse, apparently. I think we have to be like super sneaky and avoid the birds. Yep. So when in doubt. Um, excuse me? Is he like showing me the way?
don't know why I'm in here then. Very big door. I mean, I know it's for ships. It's a very big door. There's someone standing next to. Hi. You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. You have no knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. Uh, sure. Isn't Deja, like, the head of the, um, operation that, um, That runs that ship ashore, but in uh, because it lights out. Okay, so we're actually going into solitude. Uh, okay. For some reason I thought we were. There's a secret door over here. Not secret, but you know. Yeah. I only grabbed my cord here. There we go. Hi. So, what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I'm here about Golden Glow. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. You can drop the act. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Uh, you acted as a broker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Identify the buyer, and we'll forget what we know. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Uh, what would it take to identify the buyer? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. It just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Wait. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about it. Oh, that's Firebeard. I'm thinking, oh, Firebrand, like the sword. Hmm. All right. Uh, this drink's on me. Oh, if you insist. Oh. <laughs> oh, that. I didn't even hear that conversation. I used to be an adventurer like you. I took an arrow in the knee. Yeah, you can talk to a frost giant about that. It's so comforting. Is 
it in the kitchen? I hope it's not. It's not even in the kitchen? It's just like in a hallway? Whatever. You've done worse, I'm sure. This guy. No. So firebrands. What is it? Dragons? What is that? Firebrand wine. So like isn't there like a gold brand in Oblivion? Like it's the name of a sword. Speedy delivery. Ah, I see you have the wine. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Wait, you're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erenkoff for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did she say what she was doing with this? Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry. It was being directed at Mercer Frey. Ah, uh, that's it? No name? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Dragon to attack Kynesgrove. Why? Why there? Is no place safe? No, especially if your town is right next to a dragon burial site. I think it's funny that like my sneak speed is faster than his walking speed. So the question is, are we going to the warehouse? Part of my brain, I think part of it is just I'm sleepy, but my brain is like, in a small part thinking about Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not sure what the plan is exactly because we don't have the luxury of having Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day so I don't know if we're just gonna have like whatever whatever lunch or I don't know but I'm thinking even if just for myself I might make a batch um, it's like mashed butternut squash with 
rosemary and goat cheese, and that sounds really good. Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Never could get the hang of that. The side dishes are the best part of Thanksgiving, anyway. Horse is just hanging out. Oh my god. Yeah. If my horse is messing with the pathfinding. Yep. Teleportation. They say our big storm cloak murdered the high king. He shouted him apart. Shouted him apart. So if the goat taught us anything, it's up and over. I love the random like turn. Oh, I can't pick up that one? That stinks.
a little help. Okay, so like this object is actually making it harder. I feel like I've done this more stealthily before, but... Not all of these I can take off the wall. Hmm. Got a shipping map. I don't know if I've ever collected that before. something here. Frying water grotto. Do I have to swim? That's probably a silly question. He's an Argonian, right?
now. Oh no, I got distracted by the guards. Okay, so I can see that it's in that barrel. Hmm. Okay, nothing here. the uh, troll fat. Oh, I see it. Okay, so yeah, it is because he's an Argonian and it is because he can swim. Well, this will be a lot quieter, I think. Okay. Easy does it. of a wacky kill pan. Where's this torch light coming from? I honestly can't tell. What the? Apparently I'm being too friendly. Hmm. That looks like spider.
I have so many torches to throw away. Like so many. But it does seem to help with the sneaks. Does he have arrows? Yeah, he does. And a ruby holding out. I think we're gonna run over time, but that's okay. Are you gonna be aggressive? Oh, you are. Oh, I hate killing peppers. Janessa, do not run into the bone times. There's a bear trap out there. It's probably under the bodies. I wouldn't kill the contact. I didn't say that I wouldn't kill absolutely every marauder in sight. I like how he like steals from this guy. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, you'll have me killed. Mercer doesn't have to know. I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. The name of the person you want is Carlia. Mm-hmm. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where is she now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Wow. While well, we're here, and there's all this loot. Oh, that was not worth it. I'm getting careless now. And, um, 
like masks and some of the other like Powered by the Apoc Apocalypse uh, tabletop games. When you don't succeed at something, you mark potential. It's, um, and then, of course, potential is how you... Filling your potential track is how you get, like, feats and level ups. So it's like, well, it's a little bit like how lock picking works in this game. Even if you break the pick, even if you don't succeed, you get potential. It's like right there. I'm not being careful, and that's the problem. Also know that I have like a stupid amount of block picks. There we go. Okay, that was actually kind of worth it. Is that a It's like a silver statue of Tabella. What is it with statues of Debella? I mean, I guess that it's kind of like a saucy looking. Can you pick up this fishing rod now? Is it? You can. That's awesome. I want to know about that flower though. So it looks like a you know, Debella statue, but, you know. Is that a path out? I think it is. Is this just a worker? Oh. oh man, they're hideous creatures. You know, I think it'd be different if they were darker in color, but their fleshiness is just unnerving. Look at this. Brine Water Grotto. That is a really unappealing name. There, I want to put this lighthouse on my map for reasons. Alrighty, let's travel home. We're right here. And wrap it up. Well, we've made a dent in the, uh, the... Welcome. Wow. my horse and gonna be mad. Kill my horse and gonna be mad. Alright, well, so far Frost is earning his keep. I do appreciate this. Good boy. Let's go back up to the house. Okay, like, look at this entourage, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You know, sometimes you have to search for a thumbnail. Sometimes the thumbnails come to you. Just saying. 
Okay, apparently I'm bad at driving a horse though, or riding a horse. Can I not get off my horse? Aww, I was hoping to put him in here, but I can't get off. There's not enough space, I guess. Ay, ay, ay. Alrighty, guys. Well, uh, we're going to end where we began. Um, right here in our great entryway. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out. This is another great Friday night. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I, this is literally like what I look forward to every single week is just hanging out with you guys and playing some Skyrim. It's the best. Uh, if you don't, uh, if this is your first time, um, I stream every Friday night from 6 to 9 p.m. Pacific time. Um, and you can find me over on YouTube at Amanda T and me. All right, guys, we'll take care. And as always, happy sipping.